Conscience makes a public apology to wife after latest split. Zamaica Carnival heats up the stage with playlist. These are your top trending stories on Buzz. Is it really the end for Conscience and his wife? The news comes shortly after the two recently celebrated their second wedding anniversary just over two weeks ago. So what happened? Well, the DJ took to Instagram to share a lengthy, heartbreaking post on Wednesday. He revealed to his one million followers that his wife Latoya stuck by his side through many trials, as well as talking him out of committing suicide after his brother's death in 2016. He further praised Latoya for playing an important role in his life and his children, admitting that a lot of the problems she faced during the relationship were due to his actions. But hold up, it seems that she is not giving up on marriage just yet. She posted to her IG stories, setting the record straight that she is not leaving her husband. Her family is her number one priority and they are learning and getting better at this thing called life. Now many fans can breathe a sigh of relief that they are working on their marriage, while others may have mixed emotions. Speaking of marriage, huge congrats are in order for Gordon Swaby, CEO of Edufocal, and Kamisha Kelly, former Miss Jamaica Festival and Shevning Scholar. The newlyweds said I do last Saturday in an intimate gathering in Manchester. The tear-jerking ceremony had many persons expressing their joy for the couple, including the likes of Dr. Marcia Forbes, co-founder of Phase 3 Productions Limited, sharing a post on Instagram, as well as disc jockey ZJ Sparks, wishing well to the couple, as well as thanking them for having her DJ at their wedding. Now you know if you have ZJ Sparks at your wedding, you're good to go. In other news, Daryl Vass roast Damien Crawford on Twitter. The MP for West Portland had social media in a frenzy when he slammed former PNP frontrunner for East Portland, Damien Crawford. Vass, who posted two screenshots from articles dated in April and November, bashed Crawford for going back on his promise to stay in East Portland. This was following his loss at the hands of JLP and Marie Vass at the hotly contested by-elections. In April 2019, he said he would remain in East Portland. Seven months later, in November 2019, he is ready to leave. He's a trickster, Vass tweeted. He added, My wife Anne-Marie Vass, J.A., and I live right here in Portland. We will not be leaving. Hashtag action do that. Hashtag Desperado, hashtag Trickster. But Crawford, however, responded days later by tweeting, he will have a talk with Vaz when he gets back from his New York and Miami trip. Now, if you didn't catch the jab, MP Vaz was among two politicians and a senior police officer who got their U.S. visas revoked in October. But Vaz said, not so fast with this clap back. You going everywhere but Portland, eh? <laughs> Just like that, it was a wrap, done, the end. On Saturday, the parish of St. Thomas had not one but two winners of the annual Campari Pop Style Competition. The winners, Diane Edwards and Gavin Gucci Boss Ferrari, walked away with the title of Most Stylish Male and Female. Edwards, a final year fashion design student at the Edna Manley College, said that the grand prize of $250,000 will go a long way in helping complete his studies as well as getting fabrics. Now, the Gucci boss from White Horses St. Thomas also won the grand prize, expressed his gratitude as he plans on starting his own business and giving back to the people of St. Thomas. You could check out more of the pop style highlights on our site. Last Friday, Zamaica International shut the indoor arena down with playlists being the theme for Carnival 2020. Models took to the stage dancing to various genres like hip-hop, dancehall and soca, giving patrons a very energetic presentation. Take a look.
that's it for your top trending stories. Remember to click and subscribe to our website buzz-caribbean.com and download our app for your latest updates. I'm Marie, buzz out.